It has been labeled as one of the most heinous crimes committed in recent Utah history. And tonight marks 50 years since the Ogden Hi-Fi murders. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher spoke with one of the people who first responded to the scene all those years ago. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Lauren? Deanie and Mike, it seems 50 years that would be a long time ago to recount, but for the man I spoke with today, he still remembers exactly what it was like stepping into the hi-fi shop in Ogden after five people were taken hostage, tortured, and shot, three of them murdered. Now, the case taught him lessons that he still carries to this day, five decades later. April 22nd, 1974. We had a forced entry into this uh, establishment here. Ogden police respond to the hi-fi stereo shop for a crime oh, unlike yeah, anything the community had him. ever seen. You never forget them. That crime scene technician George Throckmorton had ever seen. This is absolutely the worst. After two men took a group of five hostage. And tied them all up down in the basement of the room. Then tortured, shot, and in some cases raped the victims, killing three of them. George spent 18 hours straight in that basement. So we collected as much as we could and we took pictures from every angle. The next day, he says the investigation led to Hill Air Force Base in the room of Pierre Del Selby. Finding nothing, he says, the detectives all left. But George was determined to look in one more place. We moved the bunk bed over and when I went down and lifted up the rug, right in between the rug and the padding was a piece of paper. And as I pulled out the paper and looked at it, it was a lease agreement for a storage unit just about one block from the hi-fi shop. If we had not moved that bed and looked under the rug, we wouldn't have found that. And we would have had absolutely no evidence whatsoever against them. That moment led to the arrest of Selby and William Andrews, both later executed for a case that was the most horrific a huge lesson George really. would never forget. I realized the importance of every last detail. Even 50 years later. Because you don't know what's going to be important and what's not until after all of the pieces of the puzzle are put together. Something he would carry on for his 40-year career. Now, the two victims who survived never fully recovered from the injuries they suffered from that day. Both have since passed away. In the newsroom, Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. What a small detail that made such a difference. Lauren, thanks for that information.